This is Fan First Network. All right, boys. So, that was probably the biggest game in Canadian men's national team history. We win 1-0 over yeah. Peru. We get our fucking win in the Copa America. Tell me what you saw. A really shit first half. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, horrible refereeing. And um, some good Canadian football. Yes. Um, honestly, that's what I saw. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna ignore that first half because yes. we because we because we know our boys can play better than that. Yes. The physical first half, you know, it happens. We, we we held our ground. I really don't know how that ref looks at a headbutt and says, "Yeah, I'm just gonna give him a warning and talk to him." Yeah, but um, but but you know, we move. Yeah. We at move. the end of the day, we got that three points and we're moving. So. Ag agreed. What about you? you that, that game was up there with the Jamaica win when we went to the World Cup. Yes. Bala. It was historical. Leon Bailey. <laughs> it was historical. Uh, everyone played their best. Davies played well. Um, Jacob played amazing. I mean, look, the whole team came out. They played nice. We just got to lock in. The rest of this tournament, everything has to be bumped up a notch. From here on out, this is like, it's like win or lose type of situation. Win or go home. I know we were against 10 men in that second half, but that has to be the level the rest of the way through. The energy has to stay on until we go back to Canada. Yeah. It's winner or win or go home from here on out. It is. It, it, it is. really is. It so really what'd you see today? I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. That shit was fucking ass. The crowd was ass. I felt like I was watching a high school soccer game. But you know what? They scored a goal, we won. Canada's happy. I mean's happy. Ryan's happy. Yeah. He's happy. We're back. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> and he's referencing the crowd in the actual stadium. The crowd, the Canadian okay. support Canadian here today. An elephant in the yeah. castle. Yeah. Elephant and Castle is the spot. If you ever want to watch a Canada game, real, this is the place real to talk, be. Real talk, real talk, real talk. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, boys. So, um, we kind of are pretty close to guaranteed a knockout stage game. I don't want to say guaranteed, but we're in a good position now to have one. How do you think this is going to go for us now? I think I think these two first games, uh, you know, Jesse Marsh has been very just kind of, you know, like experimenting with the squad. Obviously, you know, he's still – his first couple games in with the squad. Um, I feel like next game, there's there's changes that need to be made for us to win. I think Jacob Saffelberg needs to be in that starting lineup. I, agree. I think Liam Miller is also very great. Um, if you could maybe put him on the other wing, I feel like they would both do do damage. I'm, I'm going to say this as a thing just to kind of like, I love him, and I really thought that this season was going to be a breakout season for him. Tejon Buchanan. Going over to Italy, going to, going to a different country and, you know, different teams, always different, especially a higher club than, than he was at. Yeah. But I really haven't seen much from him recently. No. You know, he came off that, that first game against Argentina. He was the first person off first person off the field. And and, and and today he came off the bench and really didn't really give give us anything today. I feel like if if we're going to be that team that is serious and, and keep it up with teams, I feel like he needs to be that player that we can look to and provide, provide from. Yeah, like, Tejon Buchanan just has to be one of our big guys. He's on our shirt here for a fucking reason. Like, he's right there. He's there. Like, there's, there's, a, there's a reason. It's hard making that decision who's going to be on the shirt, but we just thought he was clear, right? Yeah. Like, well, man, he might still be. He might still figure it out. Clear, right? He has he's to. Right? Yeah. He's still young. Young player. It happens. So what's your expectation? I think the players need to understand that it's win or go home from here, right? That starts next game. It's win or go home. We don't win. We might not end up top two. We might have to. We might get sent back home. We win or we draw is different, but I think we need to aim for wins. Because right after what? It's great. That's it. Group stage is done. Group stage is in our rear, rear mirror, right? That's it. It's, it's fucking knockout. We might get Brazil. We might get Argentina again down the line. We might get Uruguay. We might get... It's, it's going to be hard. Colombia. Some Darwin, some Darwizzy action, bro. Well, yeah, I'm, we might get Darwizzy. I, I, I ain't scared of him. I really ain't scared I'm not scared of him. I'm not scared of him either. A little but, bit. But the, the whole point is it's win or go home now. The boys need to take that energy and, and bring it on next game. That's Absolutely. that's the only way it's going to work. What's your expectation? How's it going to go? I agree with what I said. They, the boys just need a lock in. They need to smile the fuck up. Good D. Good offense. There you go. That's all you need. Any last Shout thought? Our keeper. The keeper has been... Fucking phenomenal. Yes. Amazing. Oh, Maxime Cripo is saving us right now, man. Our goal difference would be fucked from the Argentina we game. Need, we Today, need. we would have drawn that if he didn't make two key saves in the last 10 minutes. 100%. That guy's set. All credits go to him. In my opinion, another man of the match award goes to him yeah. for this phenomenal uh, a clean performance. Sheet, a clean sheet today. And I just want to, can I, can I hold it? Can I hold it? Okay, thank you. Um, I just want to say we have Chile next, next, next match. 
um, Alexis Sanchez. You have always been one of my, my favorite players of all time. I remember watching you chip the keeper to win this tournament in 2016. Uh -huh. And that was like one of my greatest football moments. But I'm not going to lie, it is going to be bring me great pleasure when we knock you guys out of this tournament. And um, Chile, we're coming for you. You know, at the end of the day, what is a chili? You know, I like spice. I like spice oh, in my I'm food. Are, don't, don't say you guys are fucked because every time you say that, we end up losing. So <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chili, you guys are. We're coming for you. We're yeah. coming for you. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mic drop. We're done. This is Fan First Network.